Welcome to the Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Don. I'm the Explosive One. Let's crack into another one. So TNT, Yo. NBA players can smoke weed now. What? Yeah, they, uh, part of the new bargaining agreement is that the NBA players are now allowed to smoke weed without being penalized according to tentative labor, labor agreement. What? Oh my god, are you serious? I mean, that, unless it didn't go through. So why the heck can't anybody else on their job then, huh? I mean... This is insanity. I mean, it didn't say, they can't smoke in the middle of the game. <laughs> like, they, they, just, they, they call a timeout, me. the coach brings out a Philly. Why can't they? LeBron's like, hold up, coach, I'm breaking this Philly. Like, he sits on the... Because they can't get drunk during the game either. I mean, but nobody plays better when they're drunk. I would say is I that mean, you're not going to play that's better. That's not saying these do. dudes ain't smoking up in the locker room before they come out. And that's what I'm saying. It's like, can they, though? Because there's definitely somebody who's like, I play better with them, huh? There's definitely somebody saying that. I'm sorry I shouldn't have gave him that voice, but I did. Anyway. <laughs> Why did you give him that voice? I don't know. It's my voice. I just <laughs> That's how you talk in real life. You're like, this is how I talk in real life. <laughs> This is my podcast. Voice. This real, is my real life voice. Real voice. Uh, real voice reveal. Uh, yeah, but no. Um, you want to hear my real voice? TNT. How are you going to go to the store? That's a, that's adorable. That's what I thing. sound like every day yep. when I'm at work, and everyone's it's, like, "Look at this little child man coming into you, work." And you wonder why I want to kill him. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you wonder. Uh, is that voice right there? No. Um, yeah. So if if every if they're going to start allowing NBA players to use narcotics and i'm not saying that they shouldn't be able to mm. why is it that you can't why is it that i can't why isn't that everybody Depends what else state can? we live in you say at the nba that's every state yeah that means they're it's not gonna get fired state. if they pop on a drug test okay at the place so i work at the place i work they don't drug test okay either. so don't talk from a place of affluence I'm, we're, talk, <laughs> we're not talking about what oh it doesn't bother me so i don't have a problem with what about everybody else i don't even understand your point right now i'm trying to say is that for the majority of jobs in this country if you if marijuana use pops up on a drug test that it is grounds for being dismissed if you work at mcdonald's you can't do drugs can't pop up on your drug test right I don't know. Does anywhere drug yeah, test anymore? I don't know, to be honest. I don't like, know. I, the, I have, I, like, it's interesting that we bring this up because, I mean, I've worked at the job I work at for many years now. They did, they do not drug test, so I didn't have to take a drug test for that. I, other jobs before that I had to take drug tests for. I would for. say is that I've done probably between the two of us at least the most moving around. Um, I guess in the last five years, I've had two jobs, pff, whatever, yeah. and I did not have to drug test for either one. Yeah, so. and like, uh, and, <laughs> and, then, uh, and other people I hang out with have not had to drug test when they went to like jobs, and they're talking, they're doing jobs like public education and things like that, and they didn't and have drug tests or and anything. It's like dead ass. I'm clean anyway, so it's not like I wasn't prepared for whatever. But I don't know if that's just because we live in Austin and it's like, oh, we're cool. Yeah, I don't know. Like, I don't like. Is is the job market so whack that like even McDonald's is like, man, just don't. I wonder. Steel. Yeah, I don't know. I don't. It's know. a lot of money to drug test someone to be like, you smoke weed, you can't work here. Like, so I don't know. I guess my whole idea is like, is the country moving away from even like caring whether or not you have narcotics in your system? Is that not as much of a concern as it used to be? I don't think it is because I mean, back I remember being like, I dude, I remember having to take drugs. Like I had jobs that like people would get popped for random drug tests and we worked at like a furniture store yeah. and I'm like, what is the point of that? Like, what do you care if this dude's smoking weed on his free time? Yeah. He, like, what's he going to hurt? Who's What's he going to do? You think he's going to smoke it here? And he's the that. sales manager. He <laughs> walks around and puts furniture out on the floor and sets up mock mock living rooms. Like, what? how's he going to yeah. hurt someone if he's smoking weed? The, I mean, see, and I guess the idea is that it's kind of a slippery slope. Like, if you show up and you have, like, crack in your system or like meth in your system well, yeah absolutely it's like you might steal my my uh <laughs> my merchandise and so right 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 but i steal the copper wiring right out of the wall i don't know man i feel like yeah i, I feel like the world has gotten more away from that especially now that like a lot of areas like weed is legal so what are you going to do? You're going to fire me from McDonald's because like it's legal to smoke weed in Arizona. I live in it. I don't know if it is legal in Nevada and I work at McDonald's in Nevada and you're going to drug test me. It's like that'd be like testing someone to be like, oh, you got drunk yesterday. You can't hire you. Yeah. But I alcohol mean, but doesn't alcohol, stay in your system like weed does. Alcohol's either. Alcohol is legal. 
But weed is legal in Nevada, too. I don't know, man. And honestly, alcohol is probably the worst of the two drugs. Oh, absolutely. I agree. <laughs> but, it causes way more problems than weed does. What are you going to do on weed? Yeah, Get fat because you ate a bunch of food? That's not my argument to have. I already know how people feel about that. What do you mean? What do they feel? I don't know. People are very strong. Like, weed culture is very popular. I don't understand it a whole lot, but uh, yeah, I don't know. There's like people who advocate for marijuana, and I'm like, I don't understand advocating. Wait, for what it. are they advocating for? <laughs> advocating for the legalization and stuff. I'm not gonna advocate for that. Like, I mean, like I think, I mean, what people should do whatever they want, but I'm not gonna go stand in the streets and like tell people they should do. I don't, I don't feel strongly enough about anything to tell anyone about how they should live their life, except for like, don't mess with kids or animals. Like I'll yeah. tell people not to do that. Yeah, and I'm, I'm more of like a, you know let people do what they want to do and you know you suffer the consequences yeah but i don't know if i think like all drugs should be illegal or legalized what did we have we talked about this oh on yeah the podcast absolutely before. i'm the i'm the legalize everything guy you say legalize everything. fudge yeah and i say is that the rules are in place for for the idiots of the world the people who could like, oh yeah 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 no but i but i also say that if you legalize every i say you decriminalize it and then if you get caught with it you go to rehabilitation you don't go to jail uh, I don't know. and then we if you get caught so many times then you go to jail like if you won't get clean then eventually you go to jail it seems like if you make it so that it's not illegal and it's readily available that you're just going to have more people getting caught with it and going to rehab Seems like that's going to be a yeah, lot of money. Yeah, but I mean, that's kind of the who's uh, going to pay for this? The taxpayer? You want I mean, me to pay they're, for they're this? going to jail anyway. So I mean, they're worse <laughs> off in jail than they are than going to rehab. But you just said it's not it's not Ill, it's decriminalized, so they're not going to jail. They're going to rehab in your your uh, totalitarian statute. I don't know how they would put it, but or even or even just put it that it's still illegal. But if you get caught with it, you just you have to go to rehab. Um, okay, but okay, so it's illegal. What are the consequences for it in your utopian society? You go to rehab twice okay. if you you go you get caught with like crack. You yeah. go to rehab. Okay. Court mandated rehab. Yeah. You get caught with crack again. Yes. You go to court mandated rehab. Okay. You get caught with again, you go to jail. Okay. So you get but, two chances to get clean, and if not, you go to jail. So that, if not, right now they're putting you in jail the first time. So that's I mean, look, I I, I, I like I like where you're going with this. That's that's big that's a big turn from it being decriminalized though. Yeah. It's literally it's criminalized now. Yeah, I mean I guess I didn't mean true decriminalization. Like I guess it's more of like lesser sentencing for Yeah, sentence. because like some like you you gave an example a couple episodes ago. You go to a party with a big big pile of cocaine. You're like <laughs> you're like, "Oh, no, I'm not like, touching it. I don't care." Well, no, 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 but Just people say are no. like people are like, "Oh, I guess I'll try a little bit." Oh, then they're doing a line. Then they got a habit, right? Yeah. So that happens. And you're, all of a sudden, your life's out of control. There's tons of people that have the story of everything was fine. I did coke once. I did heroin once. And my life got out of control. Right? So so, so that person, that person. Yo, that's steals, a wild story. That, that, <laughs> that person steals, steals something. That person steals something to get coke. Right? After one time of use. <laughs> I mean, it's 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 a it's, it's a it's a fast it's a fast forwarded story, okay? And uh, so, do you want them to go to jail forever, or go to, yes. or go to yes? Rehab? If you're doing that after your first time, <laughs> you go to you jail. Take a bump of coke and you go rob a bank afterwards. You're like, like sorry, officer. Oh, I didn't know what happens. I was I got oh, caught up God. in. Yeah, I think they should go to jail. I really do. <laughs> I mean, yeah, but I mean, I, I think there should be something because sometimes people get caught up in stuff and get they yeah. have a problem before they realize. That's a hundred percent true. That's a hundred percent true. So I think you know, take it on a case by case uh, basis. But well, yeah, like if you do some coke and go murder somebody, yeah, you go to jail. You don't get just go to rehab for that. Yeah. But like you get caught like stealing a shirt. I think that it's kind of odd how like uh, the ability to like talk and articulate can literally get you less time in jail.
Oh yeah. It's like in in court, like the ability to articulate a point is a hundred percent like like fifty. Well, I shouldn't say hundred percent, but like fifty percent of like what a lawyer is. Oh, it. I mean, just being able to articulate in general, like, dude, if I have to call someone about a problem I have with something, yeah. just calling them up and articulating well with what you have to say, like, yeah. it it makes a hell of a difference. If you were a wordsmith, like you can get away with a lot of stuff. You can convince people like like I I have definitely called up a company and they're just like, Okay, cool, we'll do like whatever. Like and I'm yeah. like, How the hell did that work? Dead ass. The importance of communication, man. The importance of communication. It's something that everybody should have under the barrel, honestly. Yeah, yep. Yep, exactly. It's it's it definitely helps you no matter what. You can say all day, like, I ain't gonna do that, like whatever. Man, I ain't met no. I haven't met anyone that was like, "Oh, speaking well hurt my life." <laughs> that's very true. <laughs> like, that's very true. Yeah, for sure. Sounding, sounding educated. <laughs> wow. Anyways, that's all the time we have for today's episode. Go to thecrazytown.com and subscribe for Jonas. CNC. Yep. Bum bum.